Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with another video. Tonight I'll be showing you the difference between the Fig Inc. WWE Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship belt and the FanDu Version 3 World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship belt. Alright, let's take a look. Now this one is the Fig Ink belt. This one has been re-leathered. And the strap is quite flexible. Here it, it's been re-leathered by AJ's belts. Very nice. Uh, details quite nice as well. It has two millimeter plates. It has a nice curve. All three plates have the curve. And a beautiful belt. Alright, let's take a look at the Fig Ink, the Fandu. Alright, so this is the Fandu. This isn't real leather. It does look like real leather. It is quite nice though. It, it's very floppy just like this one. Yeah, this leather. Alright, and this has 8 millimeter plates. Here. Alright, take a look at the back. Very basic. Take a look at the back of this one. This one's also very basic. This one does have like a deeper curve in it. Alright. You can tell already. This one is a little bit bigger than the Fandu belt. It is a bit smaller, the Fandu belt, but as you can see, the detail of the belt dwarfs this title. And look at the detail differential here. I mean, this one's quite basic compared to this one. Look at the detail in this belt. Beautiful belt. Yeah, just lay it on top. You can see the size. It is a little bit smaller. The strap is a little bit wider. And a little bit longer, as you can see. But other than that, I mean, this belt is a little bit bigger than this, but it weighs about the same. This weighs about six pounds. This one, I say, weighs almost seven pounds. Yeah, but it's a beautiful belt. Beautiful. They're both about the same price tag, just under $200. And it's very floppy. The leather is nice. And this one, this one is leather like, still beautiful. Great belts. And yeah, both titles are quite nice. You can see the size differential here. It's probably about an inch longer the main plate. But you can see it's two millimeters thick. This one's eight. 
and I do have blue Swarovski crystals on this one and this one just has the basic red ruby ones that came with the fig ink belt but this one has been curved like I said before and this one has a little curve in it as well to be honest I, I think the Fandu belt does outweigh the fig ink belt by a lot um, I'm not saying this belt isn't nice. This belt is quite nice. I definitely would recommend this belt as well. But talking about best bang for your buck, I would definitely go for the Fandu. I mean, just for the detail alone. The strap as well. The strap is very flexible. It's leather-like. This one, I was fortunate enough to get already re-leathered. I got it for a really good deal off of eBay. And, yeah, just under $200. Great deal. They don't come around often, but when they do, you just got to be on the lookout for them. So definitely like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, have a great night.